Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Bluehost to WordPress in 2023. Of course, Bluehost is a popular web hosting provider and integrating it with WordPress can provide a powerful platform for your website. So, in this guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to get started with this integration. So, make sure to stick by, the dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you will have to go and purchase a Bluehost hosting plan. If you don't have it already, of course, you can simply go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. In my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section, simply type bluehost.com and hit the enter button. That will take you directly to their home screen or main screen right away. And of course, if you don't know much about uh, Bluehost, you can always scroll down with more information about the website, first of all, before starting anything. And as you can see, if you scroll down here, you'll find the pricing with the features that comes with this. This is for 12 months, which is a year, and this is for three uh, months or three years as an example. So for us, of course, if you have an account, you'll have to simply go to the top price corner and click on login into your account. If you don't, you'll have to go to the pricing and simply just select the price as an example, this one, and you'll be able to start right now, which is which means you need to start creating an account. So for me, I'll just create or click on login here at the top right corner because I already have an account. And of course, as you can see, this will take me right here. So simply I'll have to log in into my account. I can even log in with my Google account if I don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging in into my account. Uh, the same will be for creating the account. As you can see, they are giving me like offer if i want to take it i'll be able to claim it but for at the moment i don't want to so i'll just click on no thanks and as you can see at the moment now that is going to be my dashboard and here of course i'll simply find my domains that i already have and of course i can simply go and buy more domains if i want to and but for you you will have to simply go and purchase a hosting plan then you once you're logging into your account you'll have to go to your cpanel and locate the website section and make sure to click on as an example like here on my sites on wordpress as you can see we have no options or we don't have like a plan at the moment so simply you'll have to go and select a hosting term and as you can see you'll have to add it to cart and then you'll have to go and get that offer of course or your plan and then you will be able to do so so at the moment i don't have a plan but i'll just tell you the steps basically so you will have to go to your cpanel and locate websites uh, you will find it right there and of course on the list panel and of course you'll have to click on install wordpress and follow the on-screen prompt to complete the installation process and this of course will create the connection between bluehost and wordpress once WordPress is installed as an example, you will be prompted to set up your WordPress account. This includes creating a username, password, and entering your email address. If you don't want to do that on Bluehost, you can always go, open a new tab, go to wordpress.com, hit the enter button. And once you do so, of course, you'll be at your uh, home screen. Basically, you'll have again to click at the top right corner login option. As you can see, I'm already logged in, so I don't have to do that. But for you, make sure to do so for me i'll just go to my local host again and let's just wait for it into it's opened and of course here basically you will have to complete the checkout on your wordpress so you have everything uh, correctly then once you try to connect it like your bluehost to wordpress you don't have then to set up your wordpress account here in bluehost it will be already set up you simply have to log in into your wordpress dashboard after setting up your account you'll be able to log in into your wordpress dashboard and this is where this is where you will manage the aspects of your website and of course uh, you will be able to even connect your domain if you like purchase purchased a domain like for me here uh, through bluehost it should already be connected if you have like a domain from a different register you will need to update the dns settings to point your bluehost hosting and of course now that your wordpress is connected to bluehost you can of course start customizing your website choose a theme add plugins and create content to make your site unique as an example 
let me just go here to my local host of uh, WordPress. Just click on Remind Me Later. And as an example, let's try to start the integration from WordPress instead of Bluehost. So basically go here to your local host and simply go to Plugins and go to Add New. And of course, once you click on it, uh, you'll have to scroll down, go to Search Plugins, and simply here you will have to look for Bluehost and hit the enter button and as you can see here we will find a bluehost sites migrator so automatically transfer your site to bluehost if you want to do that and basically that transformation will build a connection or integration between bluehost and wordpress so basically click on install now and once you do so you will have to wait for the installation until it's done once it's finished of course you will have uh, this activates make sure to click on it and once you are here as you can see you will have to scroll down and look for bluehost sites migrator as you can see you'll find it here so basically you already have it you simply have to log in into your bluehost and you will be able to do this immigration will which will basically build a connection automatically you don't even have to do the migration sites from uh, wordpress to bluehost if you don't want to and of course that's going to be basically it uh, for you of course make sure to even customize your wordpress website if you want to once it's connected to bluehost you can customize your website as an example and of course you can even for security purposes uh, you can as an example it's highly recommended to install an ssl certificate and you can do this of uh, do this of course through your bluehost uh, cpanel by navigating into security then ssl uh, slash tls and of course you can or to ensure like the safety of your websites it's crucial to regularly uh, like backup your data bluehost even provides some tools for automated backups if you want to and before everything or before making your site live you can go like an example once you finish your customization and security and everything before like publishing your website and making it live and make sure to go like through a test process to ensure that everything is functioning as expected and of course will include like checking links forms and other interactive elements and other than that i guess i have nothing to add so of course if you reach this point of this video congratulations already you've successfully like connected i guess bluehost to uh, wordpress in 2023 and of course with this integration you now have a powerful platform for building and managing your website remember to regularly update and uh, of course update your content and perform some backup checks for the best results and that's going to be be it so if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one of course if you have any issues you feel free to contact their support as you can see with bluehost or even uh, wordpress and that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video